Now we're inside the Doominator! That name sucks. Shut up, Coco. So the Doominator was from Crash of the Titans. Um, it was a whole thing that Cortex was building and then Nina took over. A uh, giant robot, basically, in the image of Cortex. Um, and the final fight ended up resulting in it falling down on Wumper Island, hence why it was flattened there. Oh, you're going to see a lovely shot for Spacehead, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so basically, the Doominator crushed half of one island, and and they the whole joke at the start of the game is that <laughs> Crunch, Coco, and Crash haven't cleaned it up. It's still flattened their island, right near their house, no less. Okay, so now we're inside the space head, which is a big space station Cortex has built out of recycled junk, basically. Quite a fun concept, recycling will <laughs> destroy the world. Uh, but he's a... Uh, that was a whole part of the, the uh, junkyard, by the way. He, he's He's got parts from the ju um, junkyard to kind of recycle them to giant space station. He's using them for the MVs as well, and so he's getting the parts for them. Not a bad concept at all. I seem to be fluffling around. Um, I should have gone the other way. It would have been much quicker. No, don't go on that one. As per usual, the uh, the uh, thing in the thing. Ooh. Um, as per usual, the snipes are being. No, it's n it's not a snipe, is it? My mind's gone dead. All oh, right. Um, these barrels of fun are quite slow and annoying when you're on top of them. But anything's annoying when you're on top of them. That sounded bad. So we're gonna Yeah, make sure you kill that, that kind of shooting toilet thing there, by the way, otherwise it would come <laughs> Yeah, by spin project projectiles back, otherwise it will probably shoot you off and be a very big nuisance. In fact toilets generally are a nuisance, don't you think? Okay. In particular this toilet come up as well. Yeah, stupid thing. Right, this is quite lengthy. You 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 have to kind of uh, slowly walk. I think is the best thing, just like that, on these big barrel things, in order to get across to the button you need. It takes a little while. Just wish they went so slow, you know. It's not the first time a space station's been used in the Crash game, by the way. <laughs> it's um, it's quite a general concept. It's, it's been used since Crash 2, I think. Yeah. In Warp, they used the Time Twist device, but it was in space anyway, it seemed. Um, the Rough Cortex had a space station. Uh, Crash, the huge adventure, or XS9 in European territories, had a space station. Entrails used the hyperspace temple, which was also seen in Crash Bash, actually, and uh, the Rough of Cortex, even. Another spacey location. To my sound, you didn't really have it at all. So you get the idea, really. So the thing with the space head is probably uh, one of the more interesting ones, I think. Maybe just without the jetpack levels from Crash 2. I do like those levels. Yeah. <coughs> now we're going to hit the third button. And um no that was the f we're gonna hit the second button, go into a room with another button, and then hit the third button and go to Cortex. Yeah. I do like Cortex's boss in this game actually. It's pretty fun. I just I'll get to that more in a minute, I think. When we're actually on him. On top of him. We're always on top of things. So yeah. Mm. That's the last save point of the game there, by the way, so if you want to save your game, save it. After this bit, of course, because then after that all you have to do is hit a button and go to Cortex. Uh, weighted platforms of joy, which just makes the staircase behind there descend.
Let me tell you the Clacton story, since I have nothing else to say right now. Mmm, wall climb, walking thing, matrix. So yeah, this one day at band camp? No, I wasn't at band camp. Although I have been. It's quite fun and a bit wacky. Kind of like Amer American Pie, actually. Um, yeah, so I was in Clacton, a little seaside town all the way to the east coast of England one, one time. I uh, caught the train down there with my friend once, um, since he, he moved there, basically. And uh, I went with him down there. Uh, he told me that Clacton was quite near. Oh, how it was not true. It it took like uh, <laughs> a good five hours to get there. Um, I think it was more than that. But yeah, it took ages to get there by train. Got there, uh, stayed, the, stayed the evening, and then we had to leave. Um, because of these guys kind of threatening Lee and other people with baseball bats and all sorts. So, I'll get to this back in a minute. Um, here is the Dragon Ball Z style cutscene. <laughs> Crash Super Saiyan style. Kind of DBZ-esque. Not a bad take, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, the Grimly also makes this boss fight very, very easy. If you didn't have it, it'd probably be much more difficult, I think. So Cortex has mutated himself via Embryo's mutation formula. He's mutagen, as it's called in this game. Embryo seems to have uh, developed some kind of immunus to to his his type, or can transform what will. I I, I don't quite know how. It anyway, Cortex is pretty super strong. He's a pretty good boss actually. He's all right. He's quite fun. Definitely one of the more fun Cortexes. It's not, it's not pathetically easy or, or really difficult. It's kind of somewhere in between. I mean, pathetically easy is Crash 2's Cortex. It's ridiculously easy. Um, I don't think there has been a hard Cortex, to be honest. The rough's probably the rough Cortex probably has the hardest one, but then can you really say it's Cortex? Yeah. Uh, I wish you could use Cortex outside his boss fight and do that. Same with Crunch. It just seems like you'd have so much fun. If anyone gets a ha uh, kind of some hack code for it, it'd be awesome. Love to use him outside the boss. So basically, you have to hit all these enemies away until the thing in the middle of the room appears. So I'll continue with my Clacton story in the meantime. So I was stuck in Clacton. We had to go back because of these guys of baseball bats, and um, then the train company realised that we had no tickets and uh, yeah the entire train line was alerted and uh, basically we were screwed <laughs> we, we had to we walked between station to station we actually walked it took forever just to get on the train to get back home because Clacton is nowhere near my hometown it's just n it's not near at all and uh, yeah Every time we got on the train, ticket inspector threw us off immediately. They were they're, they're looking for us. And we walked for ages. It was, it was the very hot day that year as well. This was um, back in 2006. The sun, that summer of that year was insane. Um, we had to... I remember we swapped each other's clothes just because they were uh, looking for particular people with our items of clothing. So we just swapped. It was quite hilarious after we walked we, we hitchhiked as well we tried hitchhiking um, that didn't go down too well so we ended up walking 41 miles in the end uh, 41 flipping miles and <coughs> after we swapped each other's clothes I mean we did this quite a way in and we did stay a night in the station we uh, actually got f through back to Sandy, Sandy my hometown okay So that's the story of Clacton. And I got kicked out of my house that weekend. Anyway, that's another story. So we spin on this little screw thing, which seems to... I always thought this would be a self-destruct device, but the cutscene says otherwise. Cortex destroys the space station. So anyway, that's the end. Thank you for watching, and this is Smash signing out.